Well, this week we've explored how you use artificial intelligence every day, how it sometimes shows bias, and how it's being used to understand climate change. Yeah, well, tonight we conclude our week long series with the chat bot that is dominating social media. So, Chat GPT is an artificial intelligence tool that can write almost anything for you. Lynn Bowie explains how it works and the potential problems. Chat GPT is designed to understand and generate human like text. It's been trained on a massive amount of data, including books and websites. You can ask questions, seek advice, or just have a casual conversation. And everything I just said, Chat GPT helped write it. Chat GPT is exploding in popularity because anyone can use it and it can answer almost any question. For example, you could use it to write press releases, legal briefs, or homework assignments. You will say, um, write, a, write an essay on the causes of American Revolution as a freshman in college. It will do that? It will do that. Dr. Anupam Joshi is director of the Cybersecurity Center at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. He says ChatGPT could threaten people's jobs, including mine. When he asked ChatGPT to write a news article about crime in Baltimore, it gave statistics, descriptions of people's feelings, even a quote from the mayor. It's doing a pretty good job, right, of being a reporter of maybe being a professor. Maybe the next thing I should get to do is to say, prepare a lecture on. <laughs> Chat GPT can do a lot, but it does not know everything. Let me ask what the weather will be in Baltimore this weekend. It says, I'm sorry, I do not have real-time access to current weather information. Chat GPT has limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021. That means it may generate incorrect answers. Chat GPT is good, but it doesn't always get it right. And that is actually quite normal because this is relatively new. Um, and over time, it'll actually get better and better. And it may produce biased content. The AIs could inadvertently be spewing misinformation. Mm. Um, it could be targeting individuals unfairly in terms of how it responds to one group versus another. Information just could not be accurate. Tech companies are rushing to incorporate these chat models into their search engines. So instead of getting a list of links, you'd engage in dialogue with the AI. Dr. Joshi says that's just a few months away. It's a good tool. It will do some things very, very, very well. But like any tool, you have to be careful on how you use it. The company OpenAI released ChatGPT in November. And right now, they're doing a research preview to get user feedback so you can use it for free. And just so you know, GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Back to you.